Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary and Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Kruznik X here along with Baron Boop Boop, who is currently on mobile and muted. Tenma Sabeta, who is currently on PS5 and muted. <laughs> Lord Fire X. <laughs> uh, yo. And Arya Stormborn. The story so far. We were in Labyrinthos. Unfortunately, we were caught by members of the stu of the forum. Not to mention one Fortunal Levalier who continues to be a gigantic fucking dick biscuit. Then we shall call them Fortune Alts. <laughs> wow. wow. I have a feeling they would have had a lot of different names, but that's another story. Anyway, it hurts to laugh. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we were brought before the forum on an inquiry, and, well, we are still allowed entry into Charlian, but our activities have been kind of dumbed down to the bare essentials. Don't do anything here. So with that being said, it's about time that we continue this bullshit. So let's talk to Alice A and continue with the next line in the quest. Estate Visitor! Hmm. The overall picture has grown clearer, yes. But that's in spite of the forum being so maddeningly vague about this duty of theirs. Why are they so reluctant to explain their actions in plain words? All good politics. Survival, come what may. Is father's work so vital that it takes precedence over his own family? In a word, yes. Alphino? Alice? It is you! <laughs> when I heard you'd been dragged before the forum, I came as swiftly as I could. I am so very glad they allowed you to stay. M Mother? Amaliance, Amaliance Levelia, at your service. And you fine people must be the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. How lovely it is to finally meet you. Yeah, right? Yeah. Mother, please. We don't wish to make things difficult for you. If word reaches father that you are here... Just oh, bother out. that. Am I to be chastised for speaking with my own children? I am well aware that you and Master Fortunalt are not on the best of terms at the moment, but I've been absolutely desperate to see my darlings again. You will come by the house, won't you? I have gifts waiting. Ooh. The timing couldn't be better. As matters stand, we shan't be going anywhere until we discuss matters with Thancred's group and reconsider our options. Go. Visit your home. We will be back in the at the annex when you are ready to rejoin us. I'm not sure we... Chris, what do you think? Chris? The Chris Valentine? What a splendid day this has turned out to be! Champion of Eorzea, I must ins I insist that you join us! What? what? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go. Uh, sure, why not? But we must be quick about it. Not for my own benefit, but should my husband return and find you enjoying our hospitality, the servants will be made to suffer the consequences. Chris, 
If you would be so kind as to escort my children to the estate. Uh, okay, wait, well. what the fuck just happened? Right. Uh, and then she I was gone. I and think we were just invited to the estate. <laughs> and then she was gone. And without any opportunity to protest. <laughs> Indeed. The matter is settled. Enjoy yourselves, you three. Okay. Alpha oh, now. I apologize. My mother is not one to take no for an answer. Still, I am glad, relieved even, to see her in such high spirits. What say you, Chris? Though it seems we shall have little enough time to enjoy it, will you accompany us on our visit home? Alice, eh? Fine. If we're going, then let's get it over with. But be sure to stay in the entrance hall. No peeking into our private chambers, thank you very much. Why ever oh, not? Oh, spoil Your... sport. Why, no... Why ever not? Your room was always perfectly neat and tidy. Everyone has things they'd rather keep to themselves, don't they? Cherished mementos you couldn't bring yourself to throw away. Childhood toys. <coughs> I mean... Uh... Ah, never mind! Level your estate is that way. Straight down the stairs. Come on! Well, maybe if Alice was five summers older. I believe, I believe they specify eight, it. I believe they're 18 to 22, somewhere in that ballpark. I don't think so. Anyway. Anyway. Don't think so. anyway. When Alice said... When Alice and I were little, this bridge was far as we were permitted to wander alone. I say yeah, alone, but my mother or servant was always somewhere nearby, keeping a watchful eye. And now look at us. Traveling to different continents, different worlds, even. Alice, eh? Huh. As children, Alphano and I would often wait here for our father to come home from work. It must have been a day when his <coughs> meetings ran along, because I remember growing restless and leaning out over the railing to watch the water rush by. Father, of course, arrived at that exact moment, came pounding down the path in a panic, crying out my name. Okay. I think they start. I think they were 16 when they started. I think, I think like either 17 or turning 18. Oh, there's a little thing here that we can. Oh yes, this is where I first practiced magic on an actual person. Alice had fallen, you see, and scraped her knee quite badly. So I tried casting the simple restorative spell I had only just learned. How she smiled when the wound closed. The joy and relief. That was, I believe, the very moment I chose the healing arts as the main subject of my studies. We used to come here all the time with Grandfather. In summer, I would dip my hands and feet in the fountain and splash about. Not Alphino, though. Even back then, he wasn't very fond of playing in water. He'd make every excuse to avoid it. <laughs> Which would explain how I came to swim like an oak, and he'd sink like a stone. <laughs> hmm. uh, the ever-running gag about Alphino not being that good of a swimmer. Alright, anyway. And here you are at last. Please, do come in. Welcome, Welcome home, home, my lady. 
Well, nice digs. Mm. Three videos away from the first dungeon, according to Tenma. Ah. What? What are you gawping at? Well, considering we don't have this many butlers in Alarubra. Just admiring the craftsmanship. Oh, I... I suppose I never gave the day call much thought. I'm glad that you approve, I think. She wants to fuck him. <laughs> Lord Fortuno is not to hear of this visit. And I should also like the children to have their gifts, ere my husband makes his return. As you wish, my lady. Oh, I damn near- I almost nailed the voice. Yeah. Impressive. Huh. Master Alfno, Mistress Alice, if you'd accompany me upstairs. We shan't be long. Okie doke. The twins have been sending letters home from time to time, recounting their latest adventures. I am sure they withhold certain details, of course, if only to keep me from worrying. Yet a mother worries all the same. In the early days especially, I tried to support them as best I could, sending the Scions coin and other such donations. Ah, so you were in the pockets. Fortunately, they have found the strength to overcome adversity time and time again. Their words grow more confident with every letter, their depictions more vivid. The triumphs and defeats, the joys and sorrows. It is clear that they have come to find value in every experience. But of those they treasure most, it would seem that meeting you might be the most impactful. Why? Since that fateful day, I do believe there has not been a single missive in which you were not mentioned by name. Well, color me flattered. <laughs> it is plain they care for you, and I am glad they have such a steadfast companion watching over them. Under normal circumstances, I would offer you tea, but alas, these are anything but. In any event, why don't you keep me company whilst we await my children's return? Perhaps you might regale me with a tale or two of your exploits. All right. How about I tell you about how we met? Alphano was a pussy and Alice was kind of a bitch. Kind of, I said. Anyway. When you mentioned gifts, I wasn't sure what to expect. Mother, I... <clears throat> well, well. Oh, look how well it fits you. And the style is to your liking. It's perfect. Exactly what I would have chosen. But please, tell me you had something different made for Alphano. Hopefully. <laughs> Naturally. How about the time when I, I was a cat, a, a cat girl, possibly a dragon? Mm. I, my, my memory gets very hazy. Hmm. And while I shall miss dressing you in those precious matching outfits, I must respect the individuals <coughs> you have grown to become. That's true. See for yourself. Well, well. Thank you for the splendid clothes, Mother. Stylish, comfortable, and eminently practical. Part of me wants that outfit. I am so glad you like them. They are, however, yeah. missing one final touch. Oh? If you'd allow me, Master Alphano. A 
And there it is! Yep. <laughs> Wait. Are these... A sage's tools of the trade. They belonged to your father. Say what? <clears throat> Though he may as well be chained to his desk these days. As a student, he was often called upon to venture into the field. He wielded those armaments, both to heal and to harm in no few battles. None so fierce as those you two have braved, perhaps, but battles nonetheless. Thus did I pull them out of storage, to show you she that he was thing. not always the man who stands in vehement opposition to you now. <laughs> And also because it would be a terrible waste of ridiculously expensive House Leveilleur commissioned artistry. Oh! <laughs> the Sage's Stone. I am told these devices are quite difficult to master. But someone of your extensive experience should soon have them <clears throat> darting about with grace and aplomb. May the wisdom in that crystal serve you well. And please, try to find common ground with your father, that you might come and go without need for this awful subterfuge. When we prove him wrong, then we'll worry about it. We will, Mother. I promise. My final gifts to you, before you run off, <laughs> are an observation and a suggestion. Firstly, Fortuno has ever been a serious man, but it was only after you were born that he truly lost himself in his work. I may not know the forum's inner workings, but I know your father's. The timing of that change in him holds some significance. Secondly, do not seek to best your father with words. Far better that you simply show him. Let him discover the merit of your actions. After they cannot be undone. <laughs> Works for me. <coughs> oh, mother. We shall take your wisdom to heart. Thank you again for these gifts, and farewell for now. Safe travels, my children. Better to ask forgiveness Eat than well, permission. Stay warm, and keep Say your what? friends close. No. Good point. That's an interesting outfit. What are they wearing? Sophist's robe. Must be a... <coughs> Something to look forward to, I guess. Alpha no? Thank you for indulging mother Mother's request. I can see it meant a lot to her. And I, uh shall refrain from inquiring as to the content of your private conversation. Our visit was all b too brief. For now, however, it will have to suffice. As will these tokens of home that we carry with us. These gifts to help us remember who we are and whence we came. But enough sentimentality. Let us return to the Annex and rejoin our companions. Anybody think Alice's blade rapier got longer? Uh, where are we going? Oh yeah, Valdesi Nanites. Are we supposed to get pants with this? I haven't seen pants. Uh... 
nothing yet. <laughs> the blade looks about the same length, length to me, isn't it? That's what I asked you earlier, and you agreed. I know. Enjoyed your time with the Leveliers, I hope. I would ask how the twins fared, but their new outfits saw the tale. I only hope we can help them to reconcile with their father, that they might return home one day with their heads held high. In the meantime, we edge ever closer to the secret so the form strives to hide, and the flower bequeathed to you by Heidelin is sure to guide us going forward. I'm confident that once we've heard your report from Thavnir, we'll be well equipped to plot out our next move. Hmm. Okay, so... In the dark of the town. Alright. Let's take a quick break. Because... Yep. Alright, so, we will be back in just a moment. Until then, uh, if you're watching on Twitch or live from PlayStation, stay tuned. We'll be have more in a bit. If you're watching on YouTube, here are all the links you need in order to do what you need to do. We'll see you next time.